Okay, this video is an addendum to the first video that I had made earlier on how to go about creating a new line item in the database. Uh, I do need to show you this part right here. I'm in the roofing section. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a code. Let's go ahead and say um, 50 year roof. Okay, now the measure is going to be per square whoops process is going to be remove and replace quantity zero because we don't know how many squares it's going to be and let's just make up a number here 200 and 200 just for grins okay now I'm going to press update and it's going to put it into the roofing section okay under roofing asphalt because that's where I'm creating it, and under 30 to 40 year. Now I know this is a 50 year roof, but we're just going to put it here for a minute and then I'm going to delete it. Uh, so you'll notice here that I did not put remove and replace. Okay, the, the process remove and replace has been chosen right here. And what's going to happen is when we create this line item, it's going to interject this remove and replace in front of this. Okay, so if you were to have put R and R or something like that, then once you drop it into the price list, it's going to say remove and replace R and R 50, 50 year roof. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. I'm going to press update. Okay, there's our 50 year roof. You know, there's our process remove and replace. I'm going to go ahead and select that and drop it into the estimate. Okay, now you see how it interjected the words remove and replace in front of 50 year roof. Okay, now I'm going to show you why I decided to do it that way. Let's go ahead and go back in there. Roofing, asphalt, 30 year, and there's our line item. You see, if I had remove and replace in front of every line item like we used to have, it makes it very difficult to find anything because you, you can't search in alphabetical order because everything begins with remove or replace or whatever other verb. And so it's, it's better to have the, the actual description of the item uh, and then have the process separated from that description. Okay, let's go ahead and create another line item. Uh, I just want to show you what will happen here if you don't follow my instructions. Uh, let's, let's call it uh, remove and replace 50 year roof. And Okay, you know, it's, what it's going to happen is it's going to say remove and replace our uh, rim and rep, 50-year roof, okay? Or, you know, we can, uh, some people might put R and R. Let's do that. Uh, R and R. So update. Now it says R and R, 50-year roof. First of all, that's not great because how are you going to search for, if you have a bunch of R and Rs, how are you going to search for uh, a 50-year roof in alphabetical order? It's not going to be easy. So let's go ahead and click that. And you see right here, it's now saying remove and replace R&R 50-year &R roof. That's not great. So what, let me go ahead and go back to the base list. And there we are. Um, so anytime you're creating a new line item in iScope, uh, make sure that you choose the right verb over here. Uh, if it's replace, choose replace. And then don't put replace in here. Okay, just put the item. So if it's, uh, um, you know, valley metal, uh, all you just write in there is valley metal. So that way you can do a search for valley metal in alphabetical order and find it. Uh, just put valley metal and if it's replace, choose replace from here and it's going to interject the word replace in front of valley metal uh, once you drop it into the estimate. And that's, that's really all I wanted to show you is just wanted to make sure you didn't have, uh, you didn't write replace in here and then choose remove and replace uh, in, out, of the, out of the drop down and then have it uh, uh, read remove and replace, replace valley metal. You know, it just wouldn't look right. So uh, if that's happening to you, this is why. Thanks.